started out selling farm tractors True. out of here. We were a J.I. Case farm tractor dealer, and uh, that was the early 70s. Okay. And um, what happened was it was actually very beneficial for my business because at that time, real estate was at a prime, you know. And, Farmers have struggled all their life. I feel sorry for the farmers ever since I've been around. There was just never any money in it. They worked extremely hard, but you know they just never reaped the benefits of what they should have. And uh, consequently, they saw the value of this property and they started selling this stuff off to these developers. They made them into subdivisions. People were building homes like crazy and so it played right into our hands to make the transition from the farm equipment, which was going away. Sure. We became a suburb of Milwaukee, you know, just like Brookfield and any place else. And all these residences needed me now as mowing the grass, blowing the snow, you know, taking sure. care of the yard. So, worked out pretty good. I graduate from high school. I go to the local high school. It wasn't very old at that point. That shows you how old I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I decide that I'm going to go to college at Stout, up in Menominee. <clears throat> and my dad is running the business here, but I had grown up here since I was 10 years old, so I was in and out all the time. Kind of saw the customers, knew what was going on. Right over here on uh, the old 164, there was a Simplicity dealer, an existing Simplicity dealer at the same time we were selling the farm equipment. and. The guy probably had a gold mine there. He had a nice facility. He had good products to sell. And uh, the problem is he was just a bad businessman. That's all it was. And, and he, the, you couldn't have picked a better time to be selling this stuff. I mean, things were rolling and he just let it kind of go. And so he was forced out of business. That's all, and, you know, bottom line is he didn't watch what he was doing, didn't pay his bills on time and got in a little trouble. And eh, to make a long story short, simplicity approaches my dad right here and we the showroom we're sitting in wasn't even here at the time this was added on there's the old barn here and we added on out this way years ago and so there's been a lot of changes to our facility but at the time they approached my dad and said you know um we've got a great location here for our product we know it'll sell we know it's profitable we know you know give them the whole spiel we're looking for someone to take over for the dealer that's going out. And he said, you know, I'm too old for this. But he says, eh, let me call my son. So I'm in my sophomore year at Stout. He calls me up, he says, here's the situation. He says, you interested or not? Packed my bags, came home, I've been doing it ever <laughs> since. <laughs> yep, ever since. 1971, I believe that was, so yeah.